Hi my friends, how are you? I hope everybody is fine. My name is Daniel Villarino, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I showed how I did the sharpening of these two new gouges in order to convert them in what they normally call bottom feeders, basically to work on the bottom of the, of the bowls. And I promised that I was going to make another video, which is this one, to show you the geometry of the cut and see how that cut compares to the cut of a normal Irish grind uh, tool. So I'm going to show you several diagrams with, with these uh, ideas. And in this first diagram, what you can see is the wall uh, being held by the by the chuck. Now I want to open it by, by the middle so let's saw it away so that we can see the section of the ball and with the saw right now what we have is that we separated two halves and I just left one of them attached to the lathe. That way we can in this virtual simulation use the tools and see what is going on in the inside. So we begin the process of working the internal wall of the ball and of course uh, when we use the tool with the Irish grind we want to keep always right in the bevel basically so rubbing it against the wall and that's what we do in these images. The thing is that we can do that until a certain point but when we are reaching the, the bottom of the, of the ball uh, look what happens. Right now in this enlargement we can see that basically we have the bevel uh, supported only in two points the very tip and then the heel of the profile and we have a part between the wood and the bevel that is uh, basically filled with air. Now when that happens the, the cut is no longer supported by the whole bevel that means that the cut is not going to be as clean and also because we are hitting with the heel on the, on the wall that can produce tool marks on the, on the wood. If we try to keep doing that and uh, this is an exaggeration but uh, let me show you in the next diagram I, I try to follow the curve see what happened. I, I just put the tool sort of uh, semi-transparent so that you can see that now the wall of the of the ball is bothering us uh, to try to follow the profile and of course uh, in this enlargement we see that the situation of no riding the bevel becomes even worse so in this diagram here I am comparing the two different grindings on the top we have sort of the Irish grind, on the bottom is a little more conventional one. Uh, the angle is much larger on the bottom than on the top. Let me go on a tangential way for a second here. and uh, Let me show you this. This is a circle. Okay, I am going to begin to inscribe in the circle different uh, geometric figures. So I, I have a equilateral triangle and then a square, a pentagon, an hexagon and so on and so on until I get a polygon with 12 sides. What we can see by these figures is that for the same circle the larger the number of sides that we have the smaller is each of them. In the case of the polygon with 12 sides basically we can see that the side is almost touching the circle and that's pretty intuitive. Uh, the, the more sides we have the closer we get to a circumference. Going back to our tool profiles in this case we have the Irish grind on top, the conventional grind on the bottom, the bottom feeder on the bottom and you can see when we compare the length of the two profiles that the length of the top one is larger than the length of the bottom one. Basically the blue line which is the profile of the bottom feeder 
is considerably shorter than the red line, which is the profile of the Irish grind. And we can put them in, in the circle, and now we see uh, what I mean. You know, the, the blue one uh, gets better accommodated to the curvature of the circle than the red one. But when we have the tool on the bottom, we normally don't use it like that. We normally do a second grind or a second profile to remove part of the heel. And we end up with this profile and the only part that we really ride the bevel is the yellow one. And right now if we compare that yellow to the red and the blue before, we can see that the yellow is considerably smaller and when we put them inscribed in the circle, we can see that the yellow line is almost touching the, the whole circle. So basically we have a pretty nice contact between the bevel and the surface that we are cutting. So going back to the process, we begin the cut with an Irish grind and we can work it until a certain point, but when we are reaching the point where we are no longer going to get enough uh, contact be between the wood and the, por the profile of the tool, what we do is we switch tools and we go to the bottom feeder. The bottom feeder is going to allow us to follow the, the curvature much better. And not only that, uh, at a certain point, you know, the bottom feeder will be almost straight, the profile uh, against the bottom of the ball, and you can see here that the tool is not being bothered by the rim of the, of the ball and we can basically work the whole bottom of the, of the ball uh, with that tool. So these were the concepts that I wanted to show you. Uh, in a future video I'm going to show you uh, how I work with the two type of grinds. So I hope you liked this information and enjoyed the video. If you did, please mark the like button down below, make comments, and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so. That way, every time I upload a new video, you are going to receive a notification. And it will be until the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.